All right. Uh, in this video, I'm actually going to talk about two things that uh, Google uh, has as part of their search features. Um, y you may not even ever uh, heard of them or seen them before because they actually appear after you uh, conduct a search. They're not here under the More drop-down menu. They're actually going to appear over here on the side. So let me put in uh, a search for uh, Olympics. Okay, and then after I search for Olympics, uh, it shows me what uh, are the uh, most common searches for Olympics right now. But if I see down here where it says All Results and it says Wander Wheel, that's the one we're looking for. When I click on the Wander Wheel, I get this visual representation of uh, what kinds of branches off of Olympics that uh, tend to happen. So I could say, oh, you know what, I really wasn't looking for Olympics. I was looking more like Olympic medals. And then it branches off into, oh, well, maybe it really wasn't Olympic medals as much as it was, oh, the basketball medal. Oh, and then from the basketball medals, oh, I'm really looking for uh, the uh, medals of men's basketball whatever. And you see how it keeps branching off. Well, it's just going to keep going and going and going. It won't ever stop. It's just going to keep coming up with more and more searches off of that. So people always say, well, how do you know when to stop? Well, what's in the center here is what's coming up over here in these searches. So medal, medals, men's, Olympic basketball, these are your top searches. If I would have went um, back to uh, medals, men's, Olympic soccer, that's what the top searches are. So what the Wander Wheel does, it just helps you refine your search in a visual manner. I think students really like this. Uh, a lot of instructor or teachers that I show this to, they like this too. It's a great way to show um, visually what road you should be going down to try to get where you want to be uh, when you're doing a search through through Google. Okay, so that's Wander Wheel. Um, you can, uh, let's just try a, a different topic here. Let's do Civil War. Okay, and that's it. We'll just keep it at Civil War. So now that I have the Wonder Wheel up, I get those things and I could branch off of things like that. But there's an, this is the second feature I want to show you. It's called the Timeline right here. When I click on Timeline, what it does is shows where on the internet you have a, a large number of searches in certain areas. So obviously right here, now I just put in Civil War, but you see all of these hits right around the American uh, Civil War. Okay, so that's what it's, it's focusing on right now. But look at all these hits down here. There must have been something else going on down here in the, you know, between uh, close to the 1650. Okay, see where I'm at on the timeline. If I click on that, what I find is, is the English Civil War at the time. Okay, so ways that you can uh, look for uh, historical events as well. W where are these news stories located? Or where is this information focused around? So two things to remember then you've got the timeline and then you've got the wander wheel okay both great features uh, that you should start to incorporate into your Google searches when you're looking for something but you're really not quite sure what you're looking for uh, sometimes the wander wheel works great okay if you have any questions about these features don't 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 hesitate to let me know